What's up everyone, Josh here again. And today I'll be giving you guys another tutorial or lesson about bit depth and how that applies to audio recording. You're wondering why I have these cups and bowls here? My goal is to give you a straight ahead, not to be super technical, but to give you a visual straight ahead example of how bit depth works and also recording at a higher bit depth, how that may be an advantage for your uh, audio sessions, okay? Um, I have friends, I know people that are still recording at 16 bit, and so I'm like, dude, you know, why should you record at a higher bit depth? Um, it just gives you a lot more headroom. Um, that way you don't have to worry about constantly tweaking things and moving things around with the faders and stuff like that to make things fit. So. I'm going to show you guys a visual explanation of how that works. Okay, so as you can see here, I got cups and I have a bowl here. And the cups, I brought some cups out to represent tracks. Each cup here represents a track. For example, let's say that this cup here is drums. This cup here is bass, keyboards, guitar, horns, vocals. Now this bowl right here is empty. I like to think of this as the mastering bus, the master fader. All right, so I got a pretty nice size bowl here. Let's think of this as the 16-bit mastering bus. So this 16-bit mastering bus literally becomes a reservoir for each individual track. So for example, I'm going to pour in my levels of the drums, as you can see there. I don't know if you can see the level of where we are so far. Your mastering bus definitely carrying the levels for the bass, keyboards, that's a lot of keyboard. Guitar, this is just, yeah. Horns, now as you can see, I don't know, I want you to get a good look at this and move this out the way. I'm getting very close to the rim of my mastering bus. Hopefully you should already know what I'm trying to say. So I am getting very close at pinking and clipping off my mastering bus. In the audio realm, clipping this, uh, the result of clipping is distortion. So I'm not finished yet. I haven't even got my vocal in yet. So now if I continue to pour, the water actually is going to spill. A truth about digital audio is this. It's all mathematics. It's either black or it's either white. There are no shades of gray. So what you ask for is what you're gonna get. If you ask for, hey, I wanna record at 16 bit, it's gonna calculate and say, okay, this is the 16 bit playing field that you work with. This is what you're gonna work with. Okay, I know most of you are wondering, well, why don't you just turn on a fader, go to the track that's causing the clipping and just, that's valid if something is clipping find out where it is and, and trim it down but for me I'd rather turn something down that is working out of 24 bit as opposed to 16 bit if that makes any sense it's like uh, the scale in 24 bit you may not have to scale down as much all right folks so I decided to open up a new session here I got my tracks loaded up they're playing at decent levels here I decided to toss away my 16-bit, and this session is actually 24-bit. So I think I got a bus here that can handle these tracks. So let's actually set that right there. Here's my drums. Still at a decent level. Bass. Keyboards. Guitar, horns, 
and my vocals. All right, everything is empty. Yeah. And I still got enough headroom. Remember headroom, I'm sure most of us heard that term before. I still got headroom to work with so I can use uh, some plugins and things like that. And I still have some room without clipping. All right. So I hope this helps. Uh, I hope this explanation gave you some insight and some understanding of how bit depth works and how that applies. This applies to uh, whatever you are working with, the Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton, all, any type of digital audio workstation that you're using. All right, so thank you for watching. Also, a big shout out to those who have been subscribing to my channel. I believe I uh, passed 100 marks, so very excited about that. So stay tuned for other videos and things that I got going on.